if um, I had a siren here, I would have that on for you right now because it would be going in to a client environment with flashing lights and jingle bells all over there. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, every... I, I, that probably hits the next question. Biggest, <laughs> biggest infosec fail. Every user was a DA. Yeah. If you want a hoodie, right, comment on this video and you're going to be a black hat. I will give you a hoodie. If I see you in black hat and you've commented below, I will give you a hoodie. Something that you're not expecting. <laughs> no, let's see. So I've got like a, a speed round here, right? I've just okay. basically made it up just before this and maybe it will catch on, become a trend. All right, cool. First, whatever answer comes to your mind, just spit it out, right? Favorite right. cybersecurity book? Uh, Network Security Assessment. O'Reilly. Oh, yeah. I've literally got that here. Like, yeah. yeah oh, and the Web Applications Hacker Fan book. I think they both are damn good at what oh, they do. Marcus, right? Yep. Marcus Pinto. There you go. Plug for amazing, you. Amazing book. Amazing course. It's literally there. <laughs> yeah, I can see that actually. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wait, Marcus is coming on next. I'll have to ring him. Oh, amazing. Marcus, yeah. Well, I'll have to ring him and ask him first. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll get well, him let's on. hope so. Yeah. 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 He'll come on. He'll come on. Um, right. So next one, favorite cybersecurity course can be pen test, red team, whatever the, the best course you've experienced. Um, Spectre Ops adversary simulation, but I think definitely one of the best course I've been to. And I'll tell you why it's not because, well, the course content is amazing. Uh, the slide deck that they provide you is again amazing. Uh, I think they, they only cover half of the presentation, so they give you this additional information that they don't have the time to cover. To cover, um, But, you know, um, it's there for your use and stuff like that. But the most valuable part of the course is people taking the course and how open they are to talk to you. You know, it's likes of Hamjoy and Enigma and likes, you know, people who actually find some of the weaknesses that we explore on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and having that opportunity to get, get in the room and, and just have a conversation with them. Absolutely. I admire how down to earth everyone was on that course uh, and open to discussion and sharing knowledge. There, there wasn't a, a single element of, I'm not going to tell you this because it's my top secret sauce kind of thing. Um, by hands down, it's the people that makes the course amazing. We'll add it to the shopping list. <laughs> I've got a long <laughs> list. <laughs> right. Yeah. Quickest time to DA, domain admin. Uh, from initial access, five minutes. Wow. It, it, I mean, it, it was quite back I in the day. It. It, was, it was like three, three years back. Nah, uh, it was group policy, C password. Oh my God. That was, that was a DA. Did you have a script for that or how, how did you identify that quickly? Uh, so I, I don't do this anymore. So I, I highly recommend not to do this on a real red team at this given point. But, but about two or three years back when I started doing red team, uh, one of the first things I would do was uh, run survey CMD, find C password in the group policy, you know, syswall kind of location uh, and just look for C password as words. If I um, had a siren here, I would have that on for you right now because it's <laughs> going in to a client environment with flashing lights and jingle bells all over there. <laughs> I mean, there was, there was, you know, it was, it was back in the, it was the day when you could use, uh, you know, clap them exec on red team. You know, I, I wouldn't do that now, but yeah, yeah. you know, it was, I think the red team world has changed a lot in three years uh, since when I started to when, when you do it now, uh, hands off to blue team have come a very long yeah. way in last, like during pandemic two years. Um, I, when I started this, I thought we have an upper hand. I genuinely do believe a good blue team has upper hand right now, but that makes it more fun, right? That's it's just, we haven't got it easy. So. Five minutes, still a record for me. I, I've never heard of five minutes before. All right, biggest. But, sorry, yeah. I'm just gonna add like, I think the quickest one was when we got initial access and every user was a DA, but I just think that doesn't count. That was just like. What? Yeah, I, every... I, I, that probably hits the next question. Biggest, <laughs> biggest infosec fail. Every user was a DA. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, no, no, no. Yeah, I think it was it was via nested groups. It was like you know, domain user was part of something X Y Z, and that was part of something that was part of sysadmin, and that part was domain admin. Um, so yeah, but that that was the biggest fail that I've seen. 
that is going to be a tough one to beat. I've never heard of that either. Right. Favorite OSINT tool? Uh, AMOS by far. And I'm going to, I'm going to share that right now. Yep. From OS. Yeah. Re really good tool. Uh, I think we use this as a base, uh, and then we do more in with uh, more investigation of what what we have got from here, and and so this is like a good starting point for us as a team. That's pretty good. Right, next one. Favorite red team tool. Ooh, uh, I, I have to say Cobalt Strike. <laughs> Just how much we use that, uh, you know, <laughs> can't can't really like not like, not say it. Uh, you should get sponsors but... for all these guys, right? Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Um, but actually, at the moment, it, it might also be Rubius. What it could do is uh, it's just too good, too good. What it could do. Right, and I, I, that was it, man. What do you think of the speed round? I was really fun. Yeah, it did put me in spot a little bit. Um, but no, it's quite fun. I think, um, yeah, I, I don't know how you're going to, I think you should have like different questions for each one or, or like different set at least and, and rotate them. But it's actually quite interesting.